tell us a little bit about themselves and why why they're running for the position. I'm Carl Powell. I'm your current coroner. I was appointed by the county board in November 2011 uh, after I'd been with the coroner's office since 2009. I retired from the Pekin Police Department as a lieutenant, worked second shift in patrol. It doesn't include all the duties that I had with the police department over the years. I worked undercover narcotics. I worked investigations. I was a field training supervisor, field training officer. Uh, worked and updated all their uh, hazardous material uh, policies in the police department as well as our FEMA policies and disaster plans. I did that with the coroner's office since I've been there also. Uh, I have a bachelor's degree in management. I have some uh, graduate studies in the Illinois State. I have two certificates in death investigation, uh, medial legal death investigation, one from University of Northwest University of Illinois and another one from the National Institute of Justice. Um, I have four children. I'm married. My wife Kathy sits in the back. Uh, three great grandchildren that we see off and on. Some of them live out of state. Uh, with that, I've been a public servant ever since I was probably 14. I've been in the Explorer Post like a Boy Scouts. Went through a volunteer fire department. When I was there back in the 70s, I uh, <clears throat> took the certificate and became an advanced firefighter through the state of Illinois. Uh, become an EMT when I was on the fire department. Uh, since then, my EMT has expired uh, due to uh, things that are being updated all the time. Uh, right now, I'm working on uh, Infant Mortality Task Force is what we're going to call it. We're having issues in, in Tazewell County and Peoria County as well with babies that are passing away. Uh, we're thinking maybe possibly due to co-sleeping as part of the issue that we've seen. Can't say for sure till we continue investigating this, but that should never happen. Uh, so we're trying to design a task force with the hospitals and uh, Tazewell County and Peoria County Health Departments to find out if there's something that we can do to stop that because there shouldn't be a baby die in that situation in our opinion. We do work with uh, the drug overdoses and stuff like that. Um, I've had uh, probably a little over 350 autopsies that I've been to since I came on the coroner's office and that doesn't include the ones when I was on the police department. Uh, we investigate uh, a lot of deaths in Tazewell County, approximately about 1,100 deaths uh, last year that we investigated. Most of those are medical deaths. What we do is we ask hospice and hospitals and doctors uh, the reason why they died. And uh, when we do that, we listen for red flags. We ask them specific questions. If things plug, we go out. Uh, we average about 150 deaths uh, just last year that we actually did total investigations on, and 56 of those we autopsy. Uh, we go to every autopsy. It's what we do that we're considered death investigators, uh, and we need to find out so we can give the families peace of mind and also take care of those families to help them out. Appreciate your vote. Where's 20? Thank you. Thank you, Carl. Uh, what experience or special skill set will you bring to this position? I've been in a leadership position for quite a while when I was on the police department as <coughs> lieutenant. I had 14 officers working for me. Uh, I had uh, at least six to eight clerical, and not including the evidence vault that I was in charge of uh, just before I retired, which all 54 officers were accountable to me to make sure that that evidence was logged properly and taken out properly and handled properly so we didn't lose a case in court. With that in mind, there's a lot of areas I've been leaders in. I was on the Region 10 Task Force for the terrorism. I'm an uh, instructor in several areas with uh, the different uh, police department issues with uh, hazmat issues. I'm a hazmat tech. I'm also uh, a leadership in uh, with the uh, Illinois Central College. I instruct there for the M local MTU. I teach high speed driving. And I'm also a, a weapons of mass destruction instructor as well as a suicide bomber instructor. A lot of people go through those classes and we have to make sure they know what they're doing. So we have to have the leadership to push them through these classes. In the community, I'm a leader. I've been the past president of the Pekin Rotary. Uh, I've been the past Grand Knight of the Knights of Columbus. Uh, with the Knights of Columbus, there's 400 members there. Uh, they voted me to be a Grand Knight, which is uh, an honor for me, along with the president of the Rotary. Uh, and one thing I did was, in 99, I co-founded a teen center in Pekin. With that, what I did is I spent two years developing a plan for that teen center we got it off the ground. I made it 501c3, so it's non-for-profit, 
and it's continuing today. We have 70 to 100 kids that come through there Friday nights. So that's my leadership abilities. Uh, I do a lot for the coroner's office. Uh, I know how to do uh, about 110% of everything in that office to keep it going and make sure the paperwork and the budget is under uh, what we're getting from the county board. So thank you. What issues or challenges would you strive to address if elected to this position? Big thing is the infant mortality task force. I really want to get on board with that and I want to get that off the ground. Uh, it takes a while to do that when you're dealing with a bunch of different organizations. Another thing that I want to do in the office uh, that I'm working uh, with some of our funding uh, that we get from our uh, cremation permits and stuff like that, we get to use that money in office. I want to start a database that's up to date. When I started back in uh, 2009, we have a database, and if anybody knows computers too much, I have this PC file, and I haven't seen that since 96. And it works okay, but it sometimes just quits. It has a lot of statistics in it that we need to do research in the office to see how we can attack how other people are passing away in the county. If we can get that done, if I can get a new database, get that up and going, that means we can, our statistics will be up to date, they'll be current, they'll also be searchable by other government agencies. So if they're looking to target like the methamphetamine task force or heroin issue or users and stuff like that, we know where to address those problems. Uh, we work a lot with the funeral homes and that will also help doing research with the funeral homes to try and better our service to the public as well as the companies that we work with. Thank you. One of the presidential race platforms is protection of our Constitution. What, if any, issues in Tazewell County do you see being at risk on a constitutional level? Well, I believe we all have the constitutional right to vote, so we're going to get that out and do that, which is a cool thing. Uh, but with that in the coroner's office, I firmly believe with my investigative background that we are considered the watchdogs over law enforcement and the fire departments and the medical field to make sure that all the rights of a person that passes away are accorded. With that, if I send somebody out that has no idea of investigative practices and they go walking through a crime scene and mess it up and the evidence chain is broke into the, and messes up in the Constitution, our suspect gets to go free because it's not going to be prosecuted. So we need to make sure that we do everything properly. That's why we work with law enforcement and we, we train firemen and we train ambulance attendants and paramedics and we talk to the doctors and the nurses uh, in that mode because a lot of them don't know. They're, they're not attuned to those areas in the field. Uh, with the background that I've had in investigations, I know when I get to a scene, if a policeman or the, or the crime scene guys are not there, I don't go in. We just shut it all down, we wait till they get there, and we work it methodically. We make sure we cover all the bases. We make sure that we pick up all the evidence, we take the pictures, we do our autopsy, we do our x-rays. We do everything we possibly can to ensure that our evidence chain is proper. And then we can talk to the families also and dig up information that they're a mound of information. Well, why did the victim pass away? Who did they know? And we don't usually interview the suspects. That's not our job. That's what law enforcement does. But we are able to provide them with tools that we see to give to them and the information that we uh, pull in as a resource. That way they have ammunition to go after suspects after they read them their constitutional rights to make sure we don't violate anything to get a good prosecution in case if it comes to that. Thank you. Need to take a couple of minutes and give us a closing statement. Anything you think that we ought to know that we don't know about you yet? Again, I'd like to thank everybody tonight for having me here. Chamber of Commerce, thank you. Uh, it's been an experience. I've never really ran for election before other than the park board, and I lost by 300 votes each time, so it was kind of uh, a rude awakening. Uh, but it's a very good learning experience. I feel I do my job very well, and I'm very passionate about what I do at the coroner's office. I believe people should be treated with respect and dignity, but I also believe if we have some type of issue, if there's a crime or a crime been involved, then let's address that and get that taken care of too. Because it's a travesty if somebody gets away with something, especially with a death. That's just wrong. It shouldn't happen. 
Uh, with that in mind, I think those ought to be dealt with. Uh, but we deal with the families too. A very small percentage of our uh, deaths deal with crimes. But we have to start that way to look to make sure we don't miss anything because we work them down. And when we work them down and we find out they died naturally after we talk to doctors and the family and we get everything rearranged, uh, it works out very well. The family comes out with a better understanding of what happened to their loved one. Uh, and that's the big thing. We want to make sure the bad guys are prosecuted. We want to make sure the families are well taken care of. And we want to make sure it's in a dignified manner. Because, you know, this is the worst day of their life. Whatever family member, and there's probably been people out here that's had loved ones pass away. It never gets any worse than that. With that in mind, we want to make sure they're treated with respect and dignity, and also by doing our job so that everybody comes out with a great outcome as much as they possibly can. I'd appreciate your vote on March 20th. Uh, they always say, like, do the Cook County thing, vote early vote often, but <laughs> we don't live in Cook County, so we're not going to do that. But please go vote no matter what you do, because that's you're, you're right. Thank you, folks.